Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, I'll be breaking into the top 10 best tuners cars in Grand Theft Auto Online. We'll be ranking them by lap time, specifically because a lot of the races involved with the LS car meet are really just about cornering and acceleration, not necessarily top speed. In fact, I doubt you'll even get an area where you can reach your top speed with any of these vehicles because of how many corners there are in Pursuit Series or Street Series races. The reason I'm making today's video is for two major reasons. First of all, Rockstar has removed like 80-something vehicles from the game. They've removed a lot of vehicles. And with all of these cars being removed from the game, it's very important to try and get some of the good ones back. And it seems like one of the major ways Rockstar is doing that is by having you participate in LS Carmi races to earn the podium vehicle every week for free. Seems like the podium vehicle is going to be a removed car. So it's very important to get a tuner's vehicle because you can obviously participate in these races and try and get your hands on these vehicles for free. But as well, these cars are just great in general because they work as pseudo vehicles. Not only can you use them in tuner races, but they're also just good for sports stuff in general. These aren't slow vehicles. They're still in the sports category or whatever their respective category is, but they have a subdivision of tuner. So they're also just really cool cars to own in general. So in today's video, as I said, we're going to break into the 10 best lap times, starting off from worst and making our way to the best. So here we are at 10th place, the Dominator ASP. This here is actually the first tuner vehicle I got my hands on. I just thought it looked the coolest, and I, that, that's really all there is to say. I still think it's one of the best looking of the tuner's vehicles. I love the way the Mustangs look in this game, and uh, this one just has so much good customization. This is actually my personal one here. So I really like the Dominator ASP. It has a top speed of 190. 19 miles per hour and it comes at around 1.8 million dollars I'm not gonna actually break into their respective lap times because as I said each one of these is better and better in lap time So when we make it down to the list obviously each vehicle is better than the last in lap time So the Dominator ASP is kind of a mix of both good lap time and as well high top speed Which is actually quite nice next up. We have the Previon. I actually really like the look of the Previon This isn't my personal one So I'm not a huge fan of this actual design it has going for it, but it is a pretty nice Nice looking vehicle if you customize it correctly. It has a top speed of 115.5 and it costs about 1.5 mil. So it's a bit on the cheaper side of the tuner's vehicles and it's actually got a pretty good lap time for the top speed that it features. So not a bad car at all, but I definitely wouldn't suggest to buy it because there's a lot better vehicles that are also just as cheap. Next up we have a Comet S2, another one of my personal vehicles here. I really like the way the Comet S2 looks. It's not only fast at 123 miles per hour, but it's it's just got some amazing customization. That's one of my favorite thing about the tuners class is that Rockstar put a lot of extra effort into giving these vehicles super cool customization and upgrades. So uh, yeah, I, I like a lot of the tuners vehicles. So some of these vehicles here are my own personal cars. This one being one of them, I tried to go for a rally design here, but the uh, Comet S2, it's pretty fast. As I said, it comes in at 1.9 mil. So definitely not cheap, but if you're going for a higher top speed, which as I said before, isn't super important, this is the kind of car you're going to go for. Next up, we have the Euros coming in at a top speed of 116.5 and 1.8 million. This is obviously based off a of Nissan Fair Lady. I'm a fan of it. I'm not the biggest fan. I've never been the biggest fan of this design, but I actually really like the customization options it has. It's decently fast and it's not the most ridiculous price tag, so not a bad vehicle at all. Next up, we have the Cypher. This one, yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of. It's, I think, based off a of Beamer. That's what I would expect from the design of it. Comes in at a price tag of 1.5 mil, and it's a top speed of 113.5. If you're not the best at driving, and you want a vehicle that is very forgiving, the Cypher is probably the best car. First of all, it's cheap, so if you're newer to the game and you don't want to spend a lot of money on an expensive tuner's vehicle, then this is definitely a good option for saving a bit of cash, especially because this is 1.5 mil without the trade price. But add that in to the fact that this vehicle actually features the top six best lap time is not bad at all, judging that it is so slow at 113. So it's got amazing acceleration and cornering capabilities to make up for that low top speed. So if you're decent at driving or you want to get decent at driving, this is actually a really good vehicle to learn your bearings and get used to a lot of the other tuners type cars. Next up, we have the Jester RR, featuring actually the highest top speed on the list at 125 miles per hour. It's a really good vehicle if you'll want to use that speed and acceleration. Unfortunately, it's also the most expensive on the list here at $2 million. So 
it's got some downsides. I do have to say, though, it looks really really nice. Obviously, this is based off the new Supra in real life, and uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the car. I think it looks great. It's got good lap time, good top speed. Obviously, that speed helps it achieve the lap time, so if you're good at racing, you can definitely do very well in the Jester RR with that acceleration and top speed it features, but if you're a little bit newer and you don't think you're the best at driving, probably not the best option to go for. Next up, we have another Porsche, this one being the Growler. Top speed of 121.5, and it comes in at 1.6 mil. This is definitely the best vehicle for the price if you want to get up to the higher end of vehicles. It's pretty cheap for what it is, and it actually looks really, really nice. I'm a big fan of Porsches. I don't think that, like, they're all amazing because they all look pretty similar, but this one, it just looks pretty nice. I actually am a big fan of this. I'm not sure if it's based off of Boxster or Cayman. There's so many different Porsches in real life that I haven't really done my research on which one this is based off of, but nonetheless, it has some great customization. It looks super, super good with many different paint jobs, and uh, yeah, not a bad car at all to get your hands on. Next up, we have the Calico, making it into the top third position. The Calico is $2 million. It is really expensive. This is actually my personal Calico right here. I didn't love the vehicle on paper, like when I looked at some of other people's designs, but once I customized my own, it actually looks pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the front is still a little funky, looks more like a rallycross vehicle rather than a tuner's car but it still looks pretty dang cool. It's got some great customization, so I can't really complain all too much. It's decently fast at 121. It's got a great mix of handling, acceleration, and top speed, so definitely a great choice for anybody that wants to check all the boxes. Next up, we have my personal favorite when it comes to tuners, which is the Vector. Any race you see me doing tuners races in, the Vector will be my choice. First of all, the vehicle's based off a of Lexus RCF, which is an absolutely stunning car in real life, and I think it matches the looks in GTA as well. Not only does it look great, but it's not very fast, only at 115.25. The reason it's so good is because it's so dang slow. It's got such a good amount of lap time. This thing turns on a dime, which allows it to be such a good car on overall handling, and especially for these races that you're going to be using it in, this is by far one of the best bangs for the buck you can choose. So, uh, the Vector, it's great. It's 1.8 million. I'd highly suggest to pick this one up out of a lot of the other vehicles in this list if you want to go for lap time. Finishing off, we have the Salt Sultan RS Classic, a vehicle that I'm surprised to see in the first place position. God, look at the cambering on those wheels. This is not my personal one, I will let you know. Uh, the Sultan RS Classic is a pretty fun vehicle. It looks nice. I'm a big fan of the upgrades it has. It's tiny, too. I mean, look at how small this thing is. But it's a great looking vehicle. And not only that, but the Sultan RS Classic is a great combination of speed and lap time. As I said, it's the best lap time in the entire category. But not only that, the vehicle features a top speed of 117.5. So it's kind of got it all going for it. It's got a decent top speed. It's got great lap time, great acceleration. It's just a great vehicle in general. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. These are the top 10 best tuners vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. Literally taken right out of all the same race, all the same vehicles, upgrades, everything like that. So uh, yeah, let me know which of the tuners vehicles in the comments down below you guys like the most. As I said, I would actually suggest to do some racing if you wanted to get your hands on some of the removed vehicles because it is quite important to get your hands on these vehicles if you miss them or you wanted to get one of the cars. So, uh, there you have it. Now, there are ways to obviously cheese. You don't actually need to buy a tuner's vehicle. The one bit of advice I can give you is if you find a friend, like if you join my Discord server or any other YouTuber's Discord server, TGG, you find people on the right platform and server that you play on, you can literally just, you know, very easily uh, cheese these races by having two people or three people join the race with you, and then you can finish first and uh, not have to worry at all about buying one of these cars. But I still think it's pretty important to buy one of these cars, because maybe you won't have a friend online. It's pretty easy to do these races. They're really fun. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.